Hey guys, Slipter here, and welcome back to Black Ops 3 Zombies. Today's episode, we're playing a Super Mario Galaxy, well, Galaxy map, and it is really fun. It has, like, a lot of challenge, as well as, like, make me relive a lot of my nostalgic feeling for Mario Galaxy. And I really enjoy it. It literally just came out recently, so please show the map creator some love, because it is, like, one-to-one -one scale of the original Galaxy, as well as, like, a little more extra stuff here and there. But yeah, with the intro out of the way, let's continue on with the video. Okay, I saw this on the workshop, like literally it released today. And I was just scrolling through the workshop and I was like, oh my god, that's a Super Mario Galaxy on it. I'm downloading it and I can't believe it. Like, I really can't. I love Super Mario Galaxy and like, it combines the best games I love. Super Mario Galaxy, Black Ops 3 Zombies. What more could you ask for? What more? Like, I've been playing Mario Galaxy since I was a wee little lad. Just when it first came out, 2007, I believe, uh, I've been playing the game ever since. I at least play it once a year to relive some nostalgia, as well as, like, see what new stuff I could try out, like some strategies that I watch on online and whatnot. Because I've had many moments where it's like, oh, I could have done that a lot differently when I replayed it. Anyway, let me continue forward. I am thankful that this is not moving. It would be very difficult to dodge zombies, as well as, like, dodge all these circle holes here i don't know if we fall we'll die because i know some maps are like that you know uh like a sky block map that i played on for uh zombies if you fall if you fell off you died and uh <laughs> i did not want to test that theory right now but i do know we need to fill these strawberries i did see on the little title card as well as like a little bit in the description you have to fill these strawberries and you're able to what do you say i guess beat the game i think i somewhere read the description at least I just know we need to fill the strawberries. But I love Super Mario Galaxy. Like, I think it helped influence a lot of, like, modern Mario. Like, you have Captain Toadstool come from the game. You have Rosalina. She's, like, a big influencer inside the, uh, Mario scape now. Like, she's in a lot of Mario games nowadays. Her Comet Observatory. She's, uh, Mario Kart characters. That sort of stuff. Just, I can't think of anything... Like, modern Mario games doesn't take inspiration from, from, like, this game. And I'll be honest, this map isn't exactly, like, the first map I'll think of when I think of Super Mario Galaxy. But it's definitely one of them that shows up in my head, like, oh yeah, the candy map with, like, a bunch of sweets and whatnot. Because I like almost every single map. I don't think there's really a map where it's like, eh, it was bad type of thing. Like, I think they were all pretty good. And I think it's just, like the charm and aspect of it because like it's just set in space and even though it's mario it just feels like a new game every single time i play it and i wish that super mario galaxy 2 had more so lore with it because like i know the uh creator of mario after he learned that the first game had lore he was like yeah no for the second game no lore really and that sucks personally because like don't get me wrong i like the whole shtick of like mario saving princess peach from bowser but like I wish there was a bit more to it sometimes, you know? Have a bit more lore with some of your characters. I don't think it hurts that much, personally. But it seems like they're somewhat doing that. Like, Paulina is... Paulina? Pauline? I forgot her name completely, but... I think her name is Paulina. She's the uh, ruler of New Dong City, which is kind of just reminiscent of her old ways. Ooh, Remington New Model. But reminiscent of her old days of being part of the... Uh, part of the donkey gong series but i love how to scale this map is like it really feels like it came straight out of the game itself obviously in a lot higher resolution because the game did come out in 2007 i do wish that uh for the 3d all-stars the remaster that came out on the switch i wish they did include super mario galaxy 2 because it feels like we were robbed of it although i will have to say i wish they added a third sequel to the game because, like, we are really missing out on, like, the new hardware for the Switch to show off, like, the graphics of the, uh, of new Super Mario Galaxy type of stuff, you know? Because if you look at the new Legend of Zelda games, they look so beautiful. And I think they could really, really have a beautiful Mario Galaxy game with it. Man, we are just blowing through everything. Ooh, we got a Lush Cherry too. But, like, yeah, I just... I wish we have some more, uh, some more Super Mario Galaxy. And if they do, if they ever do plan on it, I want them to add back the story. Because that's what really made Super Mario Galaxy 1 shine the most. Because, like, I love Super Mario Galaxy 2, don't get me wrong, but it definitely doesn't shine as bright as Super Mario Galaxy 1. It's bright. It's really bright. 
but not as bright as Galaxy 1. We got some stamina up here, gonna buy you. And we got Deadshot, not really gonna worry too much about that. Or, you know what, I might as well buy it. Doesn't hurt, you know. Now, normally this is where the end is, but it looks like we got some more stuff up ahead. So, I'm gonna see what's up ahead. Because we have a strawberry here, we have another platform here. What's up top? Do we escape yet? Okay, so we did not finish growing all the strawberries. We need to collect them all in order to get Captain's Toadstool after us. Okay. Uh, we might go down here. Which is... No, boy, no. Okay, no, nope, I fell. So, if you fall, you die. Good to know. Good to know. Alright, let's try this again. Probably have a bit better weapons this time. And try not to fall off as well. But if I were to say, like, some of my favorite uh, galaxy maps... I think some of them would be like the Beehive Galaxy, because I love like the nature part of it. And then I'd probably say Toy Time Galaxy as well, and Shiver Burn, or Shiver Freeze. No, Shiver Burn, yeah. Because like, I love the fact that it's like hot and cold at the same time type of thing. Like, I remember like playing that map and then listening to, uh, listening to Hot and Cold by Katy Perry on it so many times. And like, it's the only thing I can think of now whenever I hear that song or play that map, is just hear that song as well. What do you think the uh, sweets taste like? Because I feel like it would probably be stale after a while. Considering the fact it's sitting here for like, who knows how long. Or do you think it will be somewhat fresh? Like maybe in a weird sense, like the Luma that gave birth to this galaxy is the, uh, what do you say? Is keeping it like really fresh. Now that's a good question. I never thought about that myself, but now I kind of want the answer to it. And I feel like we'll never get the answer to it unless I ask the uh, creator of the game. Like, leave a comment down below. Like, let me know. I love to engage with you guys, see what your guys' favorite ones are. Like, what's your reasoning for it? Anything specific, like, oh, maybe it's the map your brother helped you out on. Or maybe it's just the map you played on the most. Who knows? Well, you guys do. I don't. But yeah, I would love to see that. Ooh, we got a sniper. I gotta get rid of this. This is not gonna be good for this map. Ah, much better. A Bren. Uh, no, I gotta get rid of this one as well. It is really slow fire. And it's bad for reload too. Vector? Okay, I can appreciate it. Uh, I might die here. Nope. Haha. -ha. Okay, let me jump. Okay, and then jump. Perfect. Alright, I might swap out the Vector because it's good damage-ish wise, but it blows through all the ammo too fast. Alright, I might swap out the Vector for something else because ammo wise, it's not the best. And the damage is mediocre overall, even with double tap. So let me see what we can grab from the box here. Hopefully something good and god, uh, no, no, nope. Not having it. The PP2000. Alright, that's, uh, that's a goofy name. SVT. Okay. We're getting a little better here. Keyword is a little. And we got the uh, teddy bear. Ooh. Actually, the SVT isn't that bad. And the reload is not bad either. Okay. So I'll take it. I'll take it. Whatever. Alright, now we're near the area we were before. We gotta be very careful so we don't, uh, don't have the same thing happen here. Although I will need to get some points to open the door. I think it's 3,000 if I remember correctly. Ooh, God. Ooh. That could have been bad. Uh, yeah. 3,000 points. All right. Ooh, that's a max ammo. Gonna take that. Ah, I was a bit too close there. All right. Let's continue forward here. Gotta be very careful. Very careful. Ooh. I really hate this. Man, we need 3,000 points to open up this door too now. Oh god, we're gonna go down, we're gonna go down, we're gonna go down. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Ooh, death machine. Okay, uh, gonna clear out a little bit of the area near me. And then I'm just gonna buy this door behind me. Oh god, we got, we got parkour this. Oh god, I hate that. Oh my god, I hate, I hate all of this. I hate all of this. Okay, we have Whale's Wine and Speed Cola down there. So I'm gonna play it safe a little bit. Uh, we could hit the box. I don't think that would be a bad idea to hit a few times, but not too often. What on earth are you? The WA 2000. Oh, I remember this gun. It's a weird gun. Where are you? The MG81. Alright, uh, I guess I'll take it. Oh, yes. This is what we need. That double points and a nuke nearby. I'm gonna try to get enough points. Oh, yeah. I am not trying to reload this gun without the uh, speed cooler. Alright, now I need just about 2,000, more so 1,000 points. Okay, there is a uh, fire sale. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this gun. It's too slow of a uh, reload rate. I don't want to deal with the slow reload. Ooh, hammer. I'll actually uh, probably keep that. Let me see what other guns we can find, though. Oh, the B23R. Haven't used you in a while. Where are you? Blunderbuss. Oh, 
I remember this gun. And we had the Remington. I think we had that last time. All right, we need to kind of do a little jump. Trustful. All right, now we need to get out of here. We gotta be very careful, though. Gotta be very careful. Huh! Okay, and then I need to see. Did we collect every single strawberry yet? Probably not. Nope. We gotta get some more strawberries. Okay, uh, we have a death machine down here. I'm gonna try to get some points here so that way we don't have to open up too many doors or like get stuck trying to open up some doors is what I'm meaning. Actually, I'll grab that insta kill because that would be really useful right there. All right, I'm gonna try to uh, escape out here. Uh, please don't kill me, guys. I love to not die. Not dying is awesome. I mean, you guys can die. That's really cool. And by you, I mean the zombies. Oh, there's a nuke back there, but I can't go for it. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that is really sketchy. That's sketchier than a pair of sketchers right there. Okay, so we have Mule Kick around here. We could grab Pack a Punch. Issue is, we are kind of like stuck. I need a nuke in order to do that. Because I don't feel safe enough to just run over there, Pack a Punch, run back. Either a nuke or a death machine. Alright, cool. We have all the strawberries grown. Uh, I should probably still pack a punch and whatnot. I'm gonna go for it. Why not? Okay. Now we just need to kind of just take care of the whole entire whore coming after us now. And let me grab you. Are you fully all max? Sometimes you are. Yeah, you are. Okay, good. Uh, and then we should probably pack a punch this. Why not? The sassafras. Okay, there's a nuke over there. I need to grab that and we need to go to the uh, center area. So I'm going for it. That'll at least help out a lot for us going back to the... Uh, Going back to the center area here. Okay, I can jump from here. And I can parkour. And then we do a little more parkour. Just a teeny bit more. One more. And then actually we have two more. So one, two. There we go. Oh, God. All right. Uh, We need 50,000. Oh, that's not good. Thankfully, it looks like they only come from down here. So that's good. Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna focus on them coming up here. Because I don't wanna... I don't wanna die. I'm not gonna lie. This is like one of the most stressful zombie maps I've ever played. Because, like, we may have so far. I don't want to, like, lose our streak here, you know? Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, okay, that was close. That was very close. I thought I was about to go down there. It seems like they're learning, like, they can go from the other direction over here. And I don't like that. So, I'm gonna try to, like, wash my back every once in a while. Man, I need a max ammo, like, yesterday. There is a death machine over there. But I don't want to risk it. I don't want to die. Oh, we got max ammo. Okay, perfect. Let me, uh, let me try to get a good few seconds here. Grab it, jump up, and then we're gonna quickly reload this gun. Okay, we need 20,000 more points. Just 20,000. That's all we need. I mean, it's easier said than done, but still. Oh, we got double points down there. Hang on, that would be really useful for this. Ooh, thank God we have Widow's Wine. Oh, and a max ammo. Perfect. Oh, yeah. We should definitely be able to finish it by now. All right, we just need a few thousand more points. Just a few thousand more points. Oh, no. I'm out of cobwebs. Okay, never mind. I got some more. Okay, okay, okay. Now we just need... There we go. Finish it. Oh, we did it. We did it. Oh, victory. Oh, my lord. That was that was a lot of fun. That was very stressful, but a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't know what more to say. Just uh, map will be in the description below. Make sure you comment down what your favorite galaxies are from Super Mario Galaxy if you play the game. Or if you haven't, just comment down whatever, you know? And uh, yeah, I'm going to end off the video here. So if you guys don't like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And with that out of the way, this has been Lucky20 signing off. Bye-bye.